Hello students. Today we are going to start with part 4 of quantity theory of money. Let's start with the assumption of constant velocity. When we are assuming that the velocity of money is constant, the quantity equation can be written as mv bar equals to py where the bar over v means that velocity is fixed. Therefore, a change in the quantity of money that is m must cause a proportionate change in nominal GDP which is Py. When we are assuming that the velocity of money is constant, then a proportionate change in the quantity of money which is m will cause a proportionate change in the nominal GDP which is P. Y. That is, if velocity is fixed, the quantity of money, which is m, determines the dollar value of economy's output, which is nominal GDP, that is P Y. We now have a theory to explain what determines the economy's overall level of prices. The theory has three building blocks. First one, the factors of production and the production function determine the level of output that is Y or we can say that the productive capability of the economy determines real GDP. The factors of production and the production function which is the productive capability of the economy it determines the level of output which is y or you can say that determines real GDP. Second building block. The money supply M determines the nominal value of output which is Py or the quantity of money determines the nominal GDP. We have just seen that when we are assuming the velocity of money as constant quantity equation can be written as mv bar equals to p y. So when this velocity is constant, it means that the quantity of money which is m, it will determine the nominal GDP which is p y. Third building block, the price level p is then the ratio of the nominal value of output which is p y to the level of output which is y. Or we can say that the GDP deflator, which is a measure of inflation, is the ratio of nominal GDP to real GDP. This GDP deflator is a measure of inflation. It basically measures the change in the overall level of prices of goods and services. It is the ratio of nominal GDP, which is PY, to real GDP which is y. So py upon y equals to p. The price level p is the ratio of nominal GDP which is py to the real GDP which is y. We know that we that our quantity equation is mv equals to py. In percentage change form, it can be written as percentage change in M plus percentage change in V equals to percentage change in P plus percentage change in Y. Let's first talk about percentage change in M, which is percentage change in money supply. Money supply is under the control of central bank. Next look at percentage change in velocity of money. Because we have assumed that velocity is constant, we have assumed that velocity of money is constant and that is the reason percentage change in velocity will be zero. Now let's talk about percentage change in prices. Percentage change in price level can be termed as inflation rate. And the last one, percentage change in real GDP. Real GDP is determined by the factors of production and the production function. 
which for our present purposes we are taking as given and that is the reason percentage change in real GDP will also be zero. So basically this analysis tells us that the growth in money supply determines the inflation rate. Thus, the quantity theory of money states that the central bank which controls the money supply has ultimate control over the rate of inflation. If the central bank keeps the money supply stable, the price level will be stable. And if the central bank increases the money supply rapidly, the price level will rise rapidly. Thank you.